So, you know, there's a lot of uh, fear that is wrapped up in entrepreneurship. Um, and I want to know what it was like for you uh, in that first year and and how how it is today in comparison. Yeah, the first year was really hard, really, really hard. Um, if And I often say to people that if I would go back to 2019 and have this idea without losing my job, I would not have had the guts to do it. Right. Losing my job helped me understand there's no safety here. You know, mm-hmm. this idea of uh, the safe route, like, that's not a thing. Um, I cried a lot my first yeah. year. It was really hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got my feelings hurt quite a bit. I took some lumps that first year. Uh, my counselor was super helpful. I see her once a month. She was extremely helpful during that time, developing skills and reminders about like, you were built for this. Now, like, yes, I cried a bunch my first year. It was super hard. I didn't, you know, I gave myself initially I had a six month financial runway with what I had in savings. And my partner and I said, well, if you can't make it work in those six months, you got to go find a job. <laughs> right. uh, fortunately, I got a, my first check in month five, which was great, but more important than that, that time was full of uncertainty. Mm. It was full of doubt, fear, anxiety, uh, self-deprecation. Now I was talking with a buddy yesterday and I get calls from people who I don't know who say, hey, I heard you do this thing. Can you help me? Mm. And that to me is the most fulfilling feeling because it validates what I've been through the past two and a half years, Mm. validates the posting on social media every day, validates, um, you know, the days where I didn't know if it was going to work, but I still sent those emails. I still got up and did the things that I knew I needed to do to have the business be successful, not knowing how it would actually turn out. Mm.